guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 25 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Baby, baby, mm -hmm. Last week's episode. What the heck was that? Oh. You think the queen is going to come? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, unless, you know, there's a way she can get legs like you and look normal. <laughs> Oh my god, depressed Nico guys. Oh my god. Well, well they not depressed Nico. Worried Nico. <laughs> oh. Poor baby. I thought they would change that by now, but no. Is this going to be the first series that, like, everything's just going to look the same? Or, well, no, because maybe by next week, because we're officially, as of today, we're at the halfway point of the show. So by 26 to the end of the series, we should see the second opening. And to see what the heck they changed. I, I was assuming that they would have did it today. Because I mean. You got all five girls. There should be a point where we should see Laura as a human like for once. Because the only thing they have is they just added her as La Mayor and that's it. I mean and the, like seriously. She's not even in the opening. <laughs> she's still just Laura <laughs> but when we get to the freaking like first eye catch for the title screen of the episode yeah then she shows up Nico. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think her parent is coming. Mm. 
Important like what? You think? Mm. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be like that, man. It's it. <laughs> yeah, and I think he's gonna accept that. I mean, whatever the reason why he's here, it, we'll find out when we see him in the next few minutes, probably. You can do both. Multitask. Is she waiting for her dad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how is this gonna go? <laughs> There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh God, she can't open the door. <laughs> hmm? 
Oh God. Oh. Uh. -uh. No, 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 no. I got you. Oh. <laughs> You're okay. You still cold? Mm. Yeah, you still cold. It's okay. Did he can, huh? Things coming off. <laughs> oh, so you're sick now. <laughs> uh huh. Lazy. Excuse me. <laughs> you want to go lay back on the bed? go oh my god <laughs> did we have to make a big commotion <laughs> Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Is that a little too much glue? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm, I thought that would have made him laugh, but no.
Yeah, what was y'all excuse? Y'all had to use the restroom too? <laughs> That are, you know, hey, sensei, I don't feel so good. Oh, <laughs> that's a little unfair. Don't worry, everybody was. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you want her to quit teaching so that she can, you know, take your job? You, you want to retire, right? why
And that's okay, hon. You're still doing good, Saki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was just a big old misunderstanding, you guys. was so cute. Literally hearing Nico say that is so freaking adorable. I can't. Like, ah, uh, my heart. Oh, it was so cute. But yeah, once again, big misunderstandings time a thousand. I mean, you know, if <laughs> I think if we had a herd Saki's dad say something in the beginning. Yeah, I don't think everybody would have been like, oh my god, yeah, our teachers are going to be quitting on us, guys. Oh my god. But still, it was a really good lesson and learning experience for them this week. I mean, hell, the match of the week was very interesting, too. It was hilarious that, you know, it got defeated so quickly. I love the fact of the use of chalk and how <laughs> when Coral, you know, used her attack and thinking it was going to be okay, and it hit it, bounced back, moved around behind them, and just hit the crap out of them. That is a very interesting thing, and it makes me wonder if they'll ever use that again in another particular series. Specifically not with chalk, but, like, anything else that, like, bounces off of somebody's um, attack or ricochets off of somebody's, somebody's attack, comes around, hits them in the back. Very smart strategic move. But it was sweet. I mean, yeah, of course, when you're coming back to school from summer vacation, because mostly, like, everyone... All the kids and stuff who are going, who are possibly already back in school. Um, I know one of my friends, she's going back in school. For, well, no, he's going back in school. Um, for his, I think his senior year in like a couple of weeks. So, oh, once you get back in that, <laughs> it's a little hard to go back between staying up all night versus, you know, going to bed at like whatever time in the morning just to wake up. pretty now see the way that kind of looks it looks like Asuka is gonna be the main focus which I am not mad about I'm loving the fact that we are getting more um episodes kind of really focus on Asuka because of the fact is let, let okay looking at the first official now 25 episodes so maybe one day or maybe even this week if I have time I'll probably rewatch the first 25 episodes to see like, how many times, despite, like, the introduction episode of each girl, despite those, like, how many other episodes does it focus on one of the girls? How many episodes focus on Sango? How many episodes focus on Menetsu? How many episodes focus on, um, Asuka? How many focus on Laura? How many focus on Miradine? How many focus, almost like every episode from episode six to now kind of focuses on everybody and that's what I love because sometimes like as someone who started doing reactions on this from Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure All Mode even though I've seen at least every single season of Pretty Cure at least twice sometimes when it's a group of uh, the biggest group is officially what Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure All Mode with six girls um sometimes it, it's hard it, it's super duper hard to um write an episode for everybody for every single girl including the one who gets the most focus for everybody else to get that equal amount i mean because this is things that i was talking about ever since like even way before i had like started doing reactions on the show i feel like out of every single pretty care series that i've watched like as on at least twice i feel like go princess was go princess and maybe maho girls were one of the two series that really heavily focused on everybody gave everyone enough and then as someone who is now currently re-watching 
um, yes, Pretty Cure 5 and getting ready to be 5 Go Go. And then probably, knowing myself, I will probably be watching um, Heart Catch as well since, you know, they're collabing with them in their movie and such. Um, but because it's been a while, especially with the fact is with Go Go and Heart Catch, it's been a really long time since I've watched them. So, of course, I don't remember everything from it. But it's just like, okay, with smaller groups, it's kind of easier. When it's a large group of five to six girls, and so you can also put Futariwa in, oh my god, what was the next one after Futariwa? I don't remember. Um, anyone that has like two, three, four going on into five, that's the, that's the easiest way to give everybody screen time. But when it's five going on to six, it is a little harder because of the fact is, you're not only focusing on, you know, whatever pretty care of the week who's getting that focus, but you're also giving everyone individual time. Because remember, thinking about this, for the seiyus for these roles, they're getting paid almost every single episode, um, whether they get little to none lines. Like, do not get me started. Because <laughs> we, <laughs> screw it. We can sit here and talk about the situation of the 12 Zodiacs. Um, princesses from, uh, I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, Star Twinkle, Star Twinkle Pretty Care, and how they did not probably, um, they were not in every single episode. We all freaking know that. But depending on if all 12 of those seiyus were big, big seiyus, and they probably were, and just to have them in for like one, two, maybe three speaking roles, Per episode, like for an example, with uh, with Saki, aka Nico Seiyu, um, she's not in every single episode, but she kind of probably gets a lot of money for any of the episodes that she does make an appearance on. And this was my problem that I had when Star Jinko was slowly but surely concluding because there was a point in time where you could see that the quality of the animation was not the greatest. And so some people, including myself, thought it was because of the fact is, okay, maybe they had, they, you know, their budget money also paying voice actors and actresses on these shows and to just like especially if it's big ones they're gonna get a lot more money than um maybe even someone else i don't really know because like you got to think about the way like japan and the way almost here in america especially in hollywood when like someone who is big if they come in for like one episode and they just say something they probably get like a lot of freaking money for that and it's kind of probably the same towards this but my, maybe not as much, but it's like a lot of things that I would love to learn about. But yeah, this was a really good episode. I love the fact that, you know, ever since Saki has been introduced, <laughs> I can't speak, introduced in this series, any episode where she comes in, um, if it's to guide the girls or it's the girls to guide her, it's a really sweet moment. And it gets, to, it gets them to have that bonding experience because 50 out of 50, when it comes to like the adults, in Pretty Cure, they either get little to none screen time and barely will they have a lot of speaking roles. It'll just be like some really important moment for either the girls or possibly that person themselves who needs to hear something from the girls and stuff. But yeah, this is a really, really good, enjoyable episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 25 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday slash Sunday for episode 26. Bye, guys.